Stop, God. Put him on his feet. Stop it, you'll kill him. I'm handling this. What's going on here? Drop your gun. Your name, Cobb? I'm Christopher Cobb. Well, Mr. Cobb, this little lesson is to teach you what can happen and will keep on happening. If you don't take your stage road somewhere else. Oh, that does it. Hold it, Mike, hold it. I've heard there's a convict settlement somewhere around here. That wouldn't be where you were from, would it? Yeah, Ledwood's Bore. We've had this bush to ourselves for a long time. And we don't want no roads building through it. Now, let me tell you something. Australia's growing. It needs stage lines and it needs new roads. And this one's going to be built. You've had your warning, Cobb. That's the last one you'll get. Not up! Mr. Cobb. What? Kid, come on. Give him something to think about. Good. That'll teach him. <laughs> What's the matter, Dan? Too rough to suit you, eh? What's the use of me saying anything? He doesn't like the sight of blood. You know it's not that. Then what is it? It's no pleasure to think I've raised a weakling for a son. Call me what you like, Pa. But someday you're going to find out you can't hold off the rest of the world like this. I've been doing it. A 20 year and more. Why? You don't owe them anything. You served your time. But there's plenty here that didn't. And I never refused shelter to any man. Why does that mean that we have to live like filthy animals? Is this how he talks to you, Tom? You want taken down, boy. Why, thunder you do. Pa, ah, what I say is true. A long time ago, back in England, I needed shoes, and I stole a pair. Weren't worth more than a shilling, but they gave me seven years and transported me to Botany Bay. Seven years. You know I've still got the marks of the irons. Only once in all that time did anyone have the nerve to take a whip to me. But you, you stand there and take it. I won't fight you, Pa. Not you. Nah. You wouldn't fight anyone. You're a coward, Dan Ledwood. And from now on, you're no kin of mine. All right. Then I consider I'm free to leave this place. You try it. You can't stop me. Don't worry, Tom. He's no loss. Ah, go and water the horses. Dan, you're not leaving the ball. Do you hear me? You walk away from me now, and you'll regret it. Just because he whipped me. I've known for a long time that there's got to be something better than this. All these years they've lived here hating the world. I haven't bothered to ask if maybe the world's been changing. But where will you go, Dan? I know so little about what's out there. I have nothing in my pocket but a couple of shillings. But I saw a man today, a Mr. Cobb. Maybe if I go and see him. Take me with you. Sally, I can't. 
I've got my way to find somehow. But when I've made my place, I'll come and fetch you, I swear. Hey, Mr. Cobb. Come and have a look at what's just blown in. Fresh from the outback? This face looks familiar to me. Get out of the way! You want something? Uh, yes, sir. The pin. Pin? What pin? The pin in the window. Oh, you mean the brooch? Yes, sir. The one in the window. All right. Which one is it? This one. Never seen anything so pretty. Like the Sally they have it. How much is it? I'm afraid it's more than you can afford, son. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, if you really want it, I, you could pay me something now and I'd keep it for you and then you could uh, pay the rest when you get it. Have to have a job to do that. Isn't that Mr. Cobb? Yeah, yeah, that's Chris Cobb. Decent fella. Mr. Cobb? Yes. I know you. You're from Ledward's Boar. I'm Dan Ledward. I thought I remembered you from the road camp. I hope you're not going to hold that against me. I tried to stop the beating. Please, Mr. Cobb, I've run away from the Boar. I'm trying to find a new way to live. What happened? I had a fight with my pa and walked off. I'm looking for a job. Come on over to my office. We'll talk about it. Even after pa had finished his seven years, there wasn't any way for him to get back to England. He found out that being sent here was the same as exile for life, and he hated it. And that's when he started the settlement, huh? He went out back as far as he could get and sunk a ball for water. Some of the convicts had been sent out here with their families from England. Pa married a girl had been shipped out here with the folks. Ma died when I was born. It's been a mighty hard life. It hasn't been an easy one. Supposing I do give you a job, what can you do? You any good at book work? I've never had a chance to much schooling. But I'll do anything. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. All right, we'll give you a try. Thanks, Mr. Cobb. I promise you won't regret it. We'll see. Now, my main office is in Sydney. This is my temporary headquarters until we get the new road finished. This is where you'll be working. Mr. Gilly? Yes, sir. This is Dan Ledward. He's going to work for us. I want him to start by helping load the cargo wagon. Are you come this way, Fitz? Was there anything else? I just wondered, well, would it be possible to get some money in advance? You have got nerve. Sorry, but there's a pin in the store across the street. I'd like awfully for my girl to have it. Man said he'd hold it if I could pay a little something down. Mr. Gilly, give him some money. Thanks, Mr. Cobb. How do you feel after the ride? Oh, all right, I think. I could do with a drink. Yeah, me too. I'm as dry as a bone. Mike. There's one of them. By the Lord Harry, it is. You. Come here. What do you want? Remember him? The odds are better now. One against one. I'm not looking for a fight. Well, you're getting one. <laughs> On your feet. Enough. 
Can you see? I'd see well enough to finish him. That's enough. The kid was fighting dirty, Chris. The way he was taught to fight. Besides, he's working for me now, so lay off. Working for... That's right. Chris, you've made a mistake this time. Hiring men is my business, Mike. <sighs> yes, sir. And make sure that nothing like this happens again, you understand? On your feet, Dan. Mr. Cobb, he's right. I don't belong here. I only cause more trouble. You've got a wagon to load, and you've gone pay in advance. Now earn it. Mr. Cobb! Mr. Cobb! Emergency at the road camp, Mr. Cobb. We've struck hard rock and we're going to have to blast through. Hard rock, huh? Yeah. We'll have to send him up some powder. Mr. Gilly, where's Dan Ledward? I've got him outside doing a grease job. We'll need him to help load the wagon and drive us back. Get him, will you please? <laughs> and no more of your back talk. What have you got in there? None of your business. Wouldn't the guys just a look, would you? It's just stuff for the road camp. Powder, clothing, food. All things we're short of at the ball. Go ahead, Gus. You keep out of that. He was going to use that on me. Hold off, Garth, or I'll kill you. Well, that's a funny one. After you just went and picked him senseless. Shut up. Put him on the wagon. He's coming home to the ball where he belongs. <laughs> warned you not to take that boy in. Dan Ledward? What's he done? Murdered Sam Quint. And stolen the wagon and supplies, that's all. Murdered? I can't believe he'd turn like that. Must have had something to do with that bunch at the boar. Sure, and he's gone back to the bush with them. They shot Quint. And left him for the dingoes. Dan's only a kid, Mike. If anyone's to blame, I am for putting him in a spot where this could happen. All I know is one of my men's dead. Probably because of that kid. Where are you going? To the boar. Not by yourself. Look, we'll call out the crew and go in there and wipe them out. I'm going alone. Are you out of your head? Maybe. Bring my rifle and saddle roll, will you, Mike? Shillings on it. That'll pay for it. 
Yes, sir. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. That's far enough. Now get down. Put your hands up. Well, Chris Cobb. Big Tom's going to be surprised to see you. Just take me to him. All right. This way. I don't know. Palmer I think he's fixed me for good. I go out again, I'll be nabbed for a thief. And for killing that man in the wagon. But this isn't the end of it. Don't do anything you'll be sorry for, please. I can't take it lying down. Maybe if we put our minds to it, we could be happy here. No. Listen to me, Sally. I've seen just enough to show me there's, there's, there's more in life than hate and hunger. And someday, Somehow, I swear, I'll take you out of this place. <laughs> Get away from him. You have what I said. This puppy dog ain't fur like see you. Well, he told me. Let her alone. Cobb. Come on. Up this way. What's this? Just came riding in, Tom. Alone? Didn't see anybody with him. Well, get back out there and keep your eyes open. No need to get so excited. I'm alone. Cobb, eh? That's right, Big Tom. What do you want here? Thought it was about time we talked some things over. What things? Oh, little things like stealing supplies <sighs> and murder. Murder? That wasn't murder. He was going to use a shotgun. So I shot him. Oh, yes. I thought it'd probably be you. Something you want to take off with me? Yeah, if you can face a man with your bare hands. It takes a little more courage than shooting him down in cold blood. I think you're a miserable murdering coward. You and you'll prove he's right. What of it? Kill him now and that'll be the end of his stage road. Drop that whip. You people are all cast from the same mold, aren't you? You got anything to say? Spell it out. You know, you flatter yourself. I suppose you think the police are concerned about you. Don't you know there's a gold rush on? You were forgotten about a long time ago. He's lying. He could have a company of police waiting out there to jump us. Let's get it over with. But, Pa, it's not that easy. Mr. Cobb's an important man. People know he came up here. You're going to need a bit of thinking. Take him down to the shed and lock him up while they're figuring this thing out. Damn. I've got something for you. Come on, move. What is it? 
It was for you. Hub, you know I'm gonna kill you, don't you? I figured as much. Why don't you start running? Get shot trying to escape? No, thanks. Son saved your life. I know he did. Thank you, Dan. Well then, it must have been worth saving. We got no quarrel anymore. Big Tom, I've got a road to build. I'm willing to pay good wages for any man that wants to work. You hear that? You're going to work for Mr. Cobb. No need to hide out in Ledwood's bore any longer. <laughs> Ready, Dan? Goodbye, Sonny. <laughs> 